name is Andrew F. Carter, and I'm the lead pastor of Royal City Church here in Inglewood, California, and this is your version verse of the day. In Psalm chapter 27, verse 4, it says, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord always to live in his house, and to gaze means to, to seek, means to search and focus on what God can do for you. Or are you settling in your relationship by being more focused on what God can do for you than what he can do in you? What's up, y'all? So, I am finally back home. In case y'all don't know, um, I got sick my last day in Me I mean, last two days on my Me Mexico trip. So, like, we leave Thursday. I mean, we leave Saturday to go back home to LA. And I got sick Thursday and Friday and Saturday on the way back to LA. You know what I'm saying? So, as y'all peep, you know what I'm saying? My morning routine right now is a bit slow. Because, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all boy gotta take care of himself. Gotta drink the tea. Gotta drink the vitamin C. Gotta eat tangerines. You know what I'm saying? Gotta drink my vitamins and all that fun stuff. It's fun, honestly, because I feel like I've gotten better with just doing this routine so yeah i wanted i do want to tell you how this something that i learned i feel like me i try to like you know reject all the vitamins and like you know eating healthy eating vegetables you know what i'm saying trust me when i tell you this you need it like for for like like you may not know notice that you know you may not feel like you don't i mean it may feel like you don't need it but like at some point in life you're gonna need it like for for like for for me like dude my whole trip to mexico i was not eating vegetables at all like i was not all all, all i was eating was like tortilla and like bro literally like meat so I'm, i know y'all peep that because i show y'all every food that i got you know what i'm saying so like yeah make sure you eat your veggies you know what i'm saying drink your vitamins because i did not drink my vitamins at all so like you know i had to learn the hard way you know what i'm saying but i want to tell y'all that in advance so y'all can stay healthy for real, for real. i want to know how y'all been man like new year new you what's up like what's going on like what's our was our new routine looking like i know my new year kind of like started off slow because you know what i'm saying i was sick but like who cares you know it's just the beginning like it's how it's the what matters is how you finish you know what i'm saying how you finish the year off so you know saying as i get better you know what i'm saying we're gonna keep going you know what i'm saying and today gonna be interesting because i'm gonna be cutting my hair i'm gonna get like a little curly cut you know what i mean like i'm gonna get layers on my hair so i want to see what how that look like and in case y'all don't know yet i am going to paris on monday i'm gonna be there from from 15 to 20 seconds so you know what i'm saying if you're in paris don't catch me there you feel me um it's gonna be my first time being in paris first time being a fashion week being at all these events so you know what i'm saying I'm, it's gonna be late and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be vlogging too you know what i'm saying so catch the fits there man and i prepare for this trip bro i ain't gonna cap to you like i'm gonna show you all my pickups for my paris trip like give me a second though also too before i show y'all you know what I'm saying? The new pickups. I just want to tell y'all um, something I learned from my Mexico trip, for real, for real. One thing that I learned is, like, people there would wake up every day just to, like, you know what I'm saying, sell something. Like, they don't know if they're going to make money, you know, if they're going to have money, enough money to buy the food for their families and stuff like that. But they wake up every single day to do what they need to do, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of, I reflected on myself because lately I was on a rut, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all that. I told y'all that from the last video. I had a rut where, like, I I kind of was hitting these lazy points in my life but then i kind of like just look at them and like man like there's so much i learned from them like, like i need to work harder you know what i'm saying like I, I got all these things all this stuff that i don't really necessarily need and there's people on the other side of the world working harder than me you know what I'm saying so what makes you not work harder as well if you got all of this you know it's a privilege to live in america you know what i'm saying because like Bro, we living, we living nice over here, bro. Like, we get a job, you know what I'm saying? We we get minimum wage, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they probably get paid like two hundred dollars for the whole month. Like, I don't know. That's what I, that's what I, I was told. Like when I, we would ask them. Yeah, man. Like I'm just saying, like there's so much out there, man. Like you gotta work harder. And I'm need to tell myself that too, cause after I, you know, right now I'm, I got better. Now I'm good. Now, like you know what I'm saying? So like. 
from this point on, I'm gonna hold myself accountable and I'm gonna work harder for sure, for sure. Like, I got to, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, bro, it's like, when I was at Shake Shack, like, I'm telling you that, like, if you know, you know, like, I worked at Shake Shack, quit my job, started my brand, and now I'm here, you know what I'm saying? When I was working at Shake Shack, I was I did not like it because I didn't feel creative, you know what I'm saying? I always got an answer to like the manager or something. Like, I don't know, bro, like, I just, I didn't like it, but like, I worked hard to get to this point. But then now I'm kind of like, uh, maybe I don't need to work harder, but I do need to work harder because I got so much to prove. I don't know if y'all saw my last collection, bro, but I'm coming out with a banger, bro. Like, man, if you don't, if you haven't peeped that yet, go check the Instagram right now. No doubt, go check that. Cause, man, it's banger for real. Like, all the new pieces that I'm dropping is banger. Now bring it to Paris with me, you know what I'm saying? And promote it there, and, you know what I'm saying? Meet cool people, you know what I mean? Link, link up with like, more influencers, you know what I'm saying? Just kinda like, learn from each other, and just kick it, you know what I'm saying? Cooling, like, that's what I'm looking forward to, and looking forward to like, experiencing Paris for real, like, man, this is my, this is the fourth country? Yeah, this is the fourth country that I'm going to. I moved from the Philippines to the US, then I went to Mexico, and now I'm going to Paris, you know what I'm saying? Life is good man i'm telling you like i'm blessed and grateful but i know y'all don't want i don't i know y'all don't want to know about all that y'all want to know my pickups so i'm gonna show y'all the pickups i know some of y'all gonna think i'm crazy for this but maybe i am i am crazy for this my new pickup i mean pick these up yeah yeah i know i might be a little insane i ain't gonna lie guess how much i spent I don't know if they got the receipt in here. I doubt it. This is my this is actually my first time shopping at Balenciaga, like this the actual store. Cause I usually just get mine from online, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the receipt says 1861.50 cents. Wow. Yesterday, I really wanted it so bad, but now I want to return it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I guess we all get in that moment, right? Like, where we just want, want to get something. And then once we get it, we realize that, wow, why did you spend that much money? Why did I spend that much money, bro? That's literally half my rent, bro. But who cares? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Money comes and go, but you know what I'm saying? Drip lasts forever. Know what I mean? <laughs> but nah, don't, don't listen to me. I'm a really bad influence when it comes to... Everybody. But yeah, it came with a packaging like this, bro. So it came with a dust bag. I wanna, I wanna try to guess what I got for, for like. I'm gonna give you like ten seconds what I got. Yeah, ready? All right, bro. I'm gonna unbox it. So I got these um ski boots. Man, I love these things, bro. I love them. I love him. Balenciaga needs to really sponsor me for this, bro. Because I'm doing this free sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah. I'm bringing this to Paris, my boy. Like, I know it's going to be mad cold over there. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to step with a little, little stepper. You know what I'm saying? This little... I don't know, man. Yeah, this is what I got from Balenciaga that I'm going to bring to Paris. And, uh, yeah, y'all better stay tuned with the fits because I'm, I'm going to be going crazy from... I'm, I'm gonna be going crazy this year, I'm telling you that, like, you know what I'm saying, ain't no more regular fits, we gotta, you know what I'm saying, we gotta kind of like, separate ourselves, you know what I'm saying, from, from everybody, like, wearing the same thing, so, I'm over here trying to do it differently, because, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna separate yourself, you gotta do something crazy that people will never expect you to wear, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I feel like the fashion culture, like, that's just how it is. Like, boom, one good fit, you blow up type stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I know y'all been seeing me post all my content with that. And I'm gonna show y'all this coat that I got, actually. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like, this long coat, yeah. So there was two of these uh, at the store that I went to on Melrose. One of them was real fur, you know what I mean? But I had to buy the, the fake fur, cause the real fur was like 500. This one was like 200, so it was a steal, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, bro, I'm gonna go crazy in Paris, so y'all better stay tuned. I'm gonna be vlogging too, so, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. But uh, yeah, I've been talking for too long because I missed y'all for real, for real. Like, like, I genuinely did. Like, I was literally vlogging for like six days straight in Mexico, and I'm still over here missing all y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all. I'm gonna go. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm either gonna hike or go to the gym. I don't know yet. So y'all just gonna find out. So I'm gonna catch y'all. Peace.
breath, bro. Man, that mucus still in my in my chest for real. I can feel it, man. I still feel a little. I'm trying to breathe, my bad. But we just got done with the workout. Um, I didn't really, I didn't really record the whole workout because I was trying to rush. It's uh 9:52 right now. 9:52, 9:52, and my haircut appointment is at 11. And it's like 40 minutes away, so I gotta leave. I gotta go upstairs right now and go change and do all that. But uh, yeah, little chest and triceps day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to get my gains back, bro. I am cap. I lost all my power, bro. Like my strength. Like I'm not as strong anymore. Cause the week before Christmas, I was sick. You know what I'm saying? And then from 28 to January 6, I was in Mexico. And then when I got back, I was sick. So I haven't worked out in what like three weeks. So I'm just trying to shake back, man. But I'm not do it i'm gonna shake back soon but uh yeah one thing about me bro if i don't work out i don't think i'm not having a good day so i feel like that's kind of bad in a way because you know what i'm saying i just gotta be i gotta be grateful for what i can do you know what i'm saying because you can't control when you get sick or, or none of that but you can't control what you do after you get sick and back and healthy and that's why i'm working out right now i'm trying to shake back but yeah my bad y'all i couldn't really take y'all to go hike with me because i'm a little bit short on time but uh yeah i'm gonna head upstairs and you know what I'm saying get to my haircut appointment and get this hair trimmed now me so I'm gonna catch ya I'm about to break a man. I might as well wear it today since I paid two bands for it. You know what I'm saying? Might as well get the most out of it. I'm gonna be stepping. Hey, who else you know? Really, seriously, come on. Like, let's be real, man. Who else you know? Gonna go get their hair cut and pull up like this. Ski boots on, all that. Like, come on, let me know. Let me know. I could go even crazier, but shoot. The whole point, the whole point is for, you know what I'm saying? The boots to stand up. That's the whole point. Low, you know what I'm saying? Uh, little ski boots to a haircut habit. Uh, come on, man. Come on, talk to me, man. Who else do it like this, man? Little outfit of the day. You know what I'm saying? A little no doubt. Uh, basics. Uh, uh. Little basics on a top. Little tank top inside. Don't wanna do too, too crazy. Hey, if I wanna even go crazy, watch this. Bro, this is about to be my whole airport fit, bro. Come on. Talk to your boy, man. I'm Paris Fashion Week ready, bro. Uh. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I wish I know how to dance. If I knew how to dance, it would have been over with. Yeah, yeah. Bro, who else is really doing it like this, bro? Like, come on. I'm trying to get my flick in. Hold on. Uh, come on, come on, talk to me. Oh, shoot, talk to me, man. Talk to me. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna get my flick real quick, kids, you know what I'm saying? I gotta show up to the gram, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, come on, who's really doing it like this, bro? Come on, argue with me, man. Talk to me. Yeah, uh, I'm ready to go to runway, bro. I'm be like. Yeah, come on, bro, stop playing with me. But it is pretty cold, bro, I ain't gonna cap. I wanna pull this out, but I ain't gonna do all that. I ain't trying to do too much, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna save this for Paris then. I could do a puffer jacket, though. I could do this puffer jacket and lay it over. Come on, come on now. Come on now. Who really else doing it like your boy, man? Yeah, I'm giving y'all free game. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Basics in, and you know what I'm saying? Pop out on the pieces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on now. Stop playing. Man. Stop playing on me. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a picture of this too. I ain't cap. Yeah. Excuse me, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta do what you gotta do, feel me? Yeah. Come on now. All right, I'm about to be late. It's 10:05. I'm about to. I'm gonna catch up though. Hey, hey, hey. Peace. Bro, I, I don't know if y'all can peep, bro, but I got my the boots. I, I, I don't have it on, bro. Okay, this boots, bro, gonna cost me accident, bro. I cannot drive them bigger boots on, bro. But, like, so far, though, I'm be honest with you, I can't even walk with it, bro. I can't walk with the dang boots on, bro. Like, I'm being pair struggling for real, for real. But like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta wear clothes you can't pronounce, clothes you can't walk in, you know what I'm saying? Just to get that little separation that I'm talking about, you know what I mean? But uh, 
But uh, yeah, I'm excited for this, bro. I ain't gonna cap, cause like, I did spend two bands on this, bro. So, you know what I mean? I better wear it. But I know I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it a lot, actually. But I'm pretty excited to style this, cause I have a few look that I'm doing. Um, I'll probably go show y'all later when I get back home, cause later on, after my haircut, I'm gonna go to church. So before I go to church, I could probably, I probably have time to like, do style a little bit for Paris, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be late, and I know they're gonna be mad at me. So we're gonna see their reaction when I get there, cause I'm in trouble. But cause I'm gonna be late, cause you know what I'm saying? Your yeah, boy gotta get some breakfast. And sometimes you just gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? McDonald's, you know what I mean? I don't know when McDonald's got so expensive, bro. Like, they're mad expensive nowadays. But I'm about to order my food. Bro, the person in front of me literally just got an iced coffee. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. What can I offer? Hello, how's it going? Uh, can I get a number six? Number six? Uh, combo. A combo, please. Yeah. Combo, okay. And your drink, what would you like? Can I do a medium strawberry banana smoothie? Medium strawberry banana smoothie. You got anything? That's it. Else? That's it. Sorry, no, thank you. Thank you. Hey, man. I used to love McDonald's when I was in the Philippines, bro. Say, sometimes you gotta get back to your old ways. You feel me? Uh, my goal when I get back home later today, or maybe sometime this week before I leave Paris, my goal is to clean my car for real. Like, I got so much trash in here, bro. Like, look at the back seat, bro. I got so much clothes. I got so much clothes that I gotta bring to Goodwill. Man, my car dirty for real. But like, bro, I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. I'm gonna talk right now while I'm driving, cause, because I can. Go past this light, then at the next one, turn left. But yeah, I'm gonna talk while I'm driving for real, cause, cause I got some, I got a lot to say, bro. I really missed y'all for real. Bro, tell me why. I got, bro, I don't know. I'm just maybe taking out anger, light, bro. Use the left two lanes to merge onto US 101 South. But like, I was a little bit sad when I got back to LA because, you know what I'm saying? I kind of love the slow life in Mexico, you know what I'm saying? Woo woo, paradise. But when I got back to LA, I was happy too, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm back home, got my car back, you know what I'm saying? I get to go to work and I get to create more, you know what I'm saying? But like, tell me why. One thing that makes me want to go back to Mexico, bro, is these people, bro, that drive, bro. Like, people in LA cannot drive, bro. I don't know, I'm just ranting right now, bro. But like, man, these people can't drive, bro. Like, people literally would rather get hit than let you through. Like, bro, like, I'm, you see me getting over and they still gonna keep, you know what I'm saying? Like, speed, bro. Like, I'm like, man, I hate LA drivers, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, though. People in Mexico can't drive either. <laughs> <laughs> like my taxi driver bro he be like he be going crazy like for real like we had this taxi driver take us everywhere take us to the cenotes and stuff like bro he cannot drive like he was going crazy too so i can't even blame bro and people over there they be honking at you bro yeah man i just got a lot of my mind bro i just gotta get it out you know what i'm saying before i forget but uh yeah i'm gonna catch you i'm gonna go to oh my this is why I hate LA too. Oh, look at the traffic, bro. I know y'all see that. I know y'all see that. Stay in the left four lanes. All right, bro, this is kind of dangerous, but I gotta get off. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna catch you, though. Hey, What's up? How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a vlog today. Just an experience? Hey. I it hate is. you. So. <laughs> you know I'm getting a big journal, right? Yep. You know I'm getting a big journal. Yep. Right? Oh <laughs> my god. Hi. <laughs> Those are fries. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how's it going? I know, I see them. They're almost like those red ones, right? Yep. The white red ones they're right No, there? no, no. It's not the same one. It's not? No. These are Balenciaga. Yeah. Of course they are. <laughs> no, no, they're different though. But it looks the same. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just pull it down that way that he doesn't get um, wet. Yeah. I don't know if I lost it or just that's down the but No, it's supposed to. It was like to, a ball yeah. like this big. It was supposed to share like that. So how long did you have it raised in? 13, 15 days. Yeah, so remember you shed at least 75 to 100 trans per day. So since mm. you had it in braids, so that hair that you were supposed to.
Ty woke up today and said, I'm going to go shut down shoe cam. Right. What did I tell you? What did I tell you last time? Shut down shoe cam. You caught, you caught me lacking last time. I can never do that. I can never. Myself. I can never. Ty said, right? Oh, right? man. Ty yeah. said, what shoe cam? It ain't been no shoe cam. Yeah. Oh, shoe cam. You're welcome. Thank you. Have fun. Take care. Yeah, Safe yeah. travels to you. Like two weeks, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm at. I see a week or one. Yeah. Not here yet, brother. <clears throat> oh, no. Six four six eight. So check the tracking. The tracking will tell you when it should get here. When did they tag your door? Yes, sir. Tell me. Yeah. So ready for pickup. Credit. Authorized. Credit. Six eight. I don't have it in my system. Yes. You see? Yes. That's a little weird. When? When did they tag you? This building. This. All right, what up, y'all? So, I know I was just running B-roll and I was taking a little bit of clips, but the reason is why I had 2% on my battery. So I had to save my battery, you know what I'm saying? I have to save my battery. So, my apologies. So, it's been a crazy run, bro. So after I left the salon, right? After I left, I went to go to the warehouse and I went to go pick up my new samples, right? And I want to open it with you guys, actually. I'm, I'm going to do that after I talk about this. Went to go pick up my, my samples and after that, I went to DHL drop off an uh, international order myself because, you know what I'm saying, DHL didn't come pick it up. So after that, I had a package from FedEx. They keep delivering to me, but they won't drop it off because I'm not here to sign it, which I respect, you know what I'm saying? Then I told them, you know what I'm saying? Like, just drop it up somewhere convenient where I can pick it up, right? So it was ready for pickup today. And I went over there, mind you, I drive 40 minutes from the warehouse to DHL and to FedEx. I went over there and my package was not even there, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? We had this little situation where I had to call and make open the case. And after they opened the case, they called me. Oh, you're your package is there for pickup. It's ready for pickup today. So I went back over there and my package is still not there. So I'm like, man, I'm pissed because they already closed the case. So I called them again. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like they, they keep telling me the package is ready for pickup, but it's not even there, bro. Like what's going on? And I was mad pissed. And I, I felt bad for whoever answered that phone. I was pissed, bro. So you know what I'm saying? It's been, it's been a crazy day, bro. But I love the haircut though. Um, I still need to wash it and dry it because I got to put my own products to it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it looked good. I like the length of it. I'm not saying good trim, good trim. But I'm gonna go open up that package and I'm probably gonna go to the couch and do that. So I'm gonna see you out there. The sample goes right there. That's not my idea. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm gonna open it. Open up. But yeah, I'm gonna open this one up real quick. Alright, yeah. Let's open up this package, man. Cause I know I made some dope stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all that. Only y'all see this, though. Most people don't even see this until. When I start posting content about it. But y'all gonna see it from the ground up. You know what I'm saying? Because I love y'all like that. I'm hungry, bro. I'm, I'm finna go eat some salmon. I'm finna go make some salmon. Because your boy is starving. I only had... I literally only had a tangerine, bro. And a little... Bro, literally just tangerines. What the heck? Yeah, I need to treat myself better, bro. But I'm over here doing this for y'all anyway, so... It's all good. It's all love. Wow. That's fire. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, first up, these jorts right here. My favorite jorts, bro. Yeah, see, you peep that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, peep the and D in the back. Yeah. And D. Yeah. I love it, bro. I love this. All right, bet, 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 yeah, oh, for sure. That's the jorts that I made. I already got this last time, but they messed up the sizing, so I had to redo it, you know what I mean? This one right here, boy, 
Them jeans right here. You see that? The loose hem right there. That's the good, that's the good jeans right there, man. What y'all know about these, man? Yeah. Pocket in the front, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, the wash on these is crazy. And you know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with a knee blowout. Nah, I mean. Bro, I love these, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. I already love it. All right, that, that. Details on the back with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Bet, bet. All right, got the no doubt a button right there. We got the no doubt tag and back skis, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Nah, this is going to Paris for me, bro. I ain't gonna care. It's gonna be a movie. All right, we got the black ones of that. Mm, but they don't got no knee blow up there, kids. I want to do something differently with this one. Ugh. Ugh, disgusting. Ugh, that's the front, y'all. Ugh, disgusting. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this gonna be, uh, this gonna be insane. All right, it's not the last one, but this, oh I'm about to cry, y'all. Everything that I made done came out right this time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just a, a double layer thermal and look at the details on the side, you know what I'm saying? That's the sleeve hit. Got the acid wash on it. Um, yeah, acid wash all over. Still, I kind of want to keep this as a blank, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. But we gonna see, bro. We gonna see. I don't know what we gonna do with it yet, but we gonna play around with it. You know what I'm saying? Probably gonna do the 2023 greatest hits. Uh, last but not least, I still gotta do my embroidery on it, but this is the thermal, the real tree. I don't know, I've been into real tree thermals lately. So I'm not, why not make my own, you know what I'm saying? Five, nothing too crazy, just, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, real tree coming soon. Damn, I'm literally leaking all my future drops. My ops be watching, so I better be careful. But yeah, that was it, man. And then we still got these, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man. Honestly, bro, I've hit like such a full circle moment, bro. Like, man, I'm just so grateful, bro. Cause like two years ago, bro, I was flipping burgers at Shake Shack. I was flipping burgers. I was the bunner. I would make the make this make the literally make the burger for people. You know what I'm saying? Put the tomato, put the sand, you know what I'm saying? Put like the, the pickles, the lettuce, and all that, bro. I was doing all that. I was washing dishes in the back. I would close at night. Won't get home till like 1 a.m., bro. Come on, bro. And to this, with this life, bro, I literally just got back from Mexico. And now I'm going again to Paris. Bro, I'm blessed, bro. I'm it's, I'm grateful for real. And then I got another collection coming out. You know what I'm saying? So, such a... I, I'm just blessed, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm so grateful for all that love, bro. Like, man, I got my own spot that I love. Like, I will never leave the crib, bro. I, I've never been like a... I mean, I've always been in a homebody. But, like, to a point where, like, you know, I would go out just to shop. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, like, go smoke or drink or nothing. Like, you know, I, I try to, like stay healthy you know go to gym often so i'm just surprised that i get sick so much because i don't know bro i take care of my body so like i don't know why all of a sudden i'd be getting sick but uh yeah i'm finna go you know what i'm saying make food and i'm gonna go to church later on today i'll probably do that online though because it's probably get it's probably take me like an hour and 30 to get to um my church because i don't go to church in la i go to santa clarita so yeah i'll probably do that online so i just stay at the crib get ready and pack and all that stuff you know what i'm saying and get my fits ready you know what i'm saying i'm gonna do a mood board for my fits and get ready for my content ow i just tweak my ankle I'm gonna catch y'all though. I appreciate y'all for watching this vlog, man. I love y'all for real. Like, keep showing love, man. Like, keep supporting the channel. I appreciate it a lot, a lot, a lot. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm finna go make some salmon, bro. Y'all yeah, boy about to chef it up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all though, man. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You peep the food, man. You peep the food. We got the salmon. We got the brown rice. You know what I'm saying? We got the broccoli. We got the spicy mayo right here. Bussin'.
Bussin. I finna go grub though, so I'm gonna catch y'all later. Alright y'all, so I got two people bought these, so I don't know if I'm gonna ship it out today, but I just prepped their label so when I ship it out, I can just literally box them, take it to the warehouse, and USPS gonna pick up from there. But I ain't gonna do that, I ain't coming back to the warehouse today. So I'm just leave it there. But my girlfriend is coming over and then we're gonna go to church together. So maybe I should clean up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm catch y'all though. But hold on, hold on, before y'all, before I let y'all go. Check me out real quick, check me out, check me out. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you peep, you peep, you see it, you know what I'm saying? I love Paris, puff print. I love Paris, you know what I'm saying? I think what I had in mind, bro, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the streets of Paris and do this and sell it for like 30 bucks. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I ain't probably gonna sell it. I'm probably just gonna wear it there, rock it, you know what I'm saying? Probably have the homies wear it. Something like that, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, let me get to do my laundry. I'm gonna fold them real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog from here, you know what I'm saying? Hey, wait, I ain't really doing too much after this. I'm just gonna fold my laundry and then go to church with my girl. So, I'ma catch y'all though, you know what I'm saying? I made my girl food, is y'all peep? So I'ma give her a dad. I still gotta prep her some broccoli, so make sure she eating good and healthy, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah man, appreciate y'all for watching the vlog, man. And let me know what y'all think about the VHS vlog, cause I don't know if I should keep vlogging in Paris with that, you know what I'm saying? So, let me know man, let me know, I'ma catch y'all. I love, man, peace. What up, y'all? We're finally at the airport. But, um, I ain't gonna lie. To get here was a little, it's a mess, bro. Cause you gotta check in your, you know what I'm saying, your bag, you gotta take off your, I gotta take off my boots. I gotta take off my hoodie. You know what I'm saying, before you go through that little thing it's from TSA. Yeah, man. I got here super early, actually. It's currently like 12.30, and my flight's not until 3.37, so. I'm here mad early, but I'd rather like, you know what I'm saying, be here early than, you know what I'm saying, be late, because I feel like that stresses you out more. So if you travel, I feel like one advice I can give you is like, you know what I'm saying, get to the airport early, because you never know what's gonna happen. You probably don't have your, you know what I'm saying, documents or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm literally just chilling right now, but uh, I just wanna check in with y'all. But, bro, I ain't gonna cap. I brought, I done brought my whole own food. Man, bro. But anyways, I done brought my whole food because it's 11 hour flight, bro. I don't even know what I'm gonna do for 11 hours, bro. I don't care. Like, I downloaded my, you know what I'm saying, movies, my show. I downloaded Money Heist, Berlin, and I downloaded Green Lantern, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of on like a like a DC binge watcher right now. I don't care to you. Yeah, man. Should be fun, bro. I don't care, bro. I paid 200 bucks. For, to check in my luggage, bro. Insane. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all later then, bro. Cause I got a lot of work to do. I gotta do my mood board, I gotta edit my YouTube video. And yeah, I mean, I got a lot of time. I got 10 hours on the way to Paris, so I should have enough time to like finish something, you know? I did pick up this Goyard, um, Goyard laptop case, bro. Super dope, bro. With destination to Toronto. Please start making your way as soon as possible to your gate 209B. As you're a question, we arrive in the next Bro. three minutes. For these guests, find number My seven. My girl left me a note. Here, we ask as soon as possible. Tier gate 210, 209B. As you're a question, we arrive in the next 10 minutes. Go make fire content. That's what it's all about, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't record on the way here because your boy was kind of sad. I was kind of crying, bro. I ain't gonna cry because 
I ain't never traveled without my girl. And this is the first time, you know what I'm saying? We're always together every single day. So like, it's kind of like new for us to like not be together for like a whole week. But it's literally just a week, so I should be able to. Should be able to thug it out, you know what I'm But uh, yeah, y'all see the, y'all see the note. I ain't even know, she, bro. I didn't even know she gave me a note, bro. But she told me she had surprises for me, so I gotta find a note. It's somewhere in my luggage, but I only have one luggage right now, and I checked in two of them. So she said open it when I get to the hotel. So yeah, man, catch ya. Cannot sit over there. I got more space in the bathroom than my own seat, bro. I ain't kept. Still got like nine hours to go, bro. I don't know how I'll make it, bro. Yeah, that's just a little update. The Zap Peak, I didn't really get to, you know what I'm saying? Get a lot of like tape cans, you know what I'm saying? I get a lot of footage because it's a, it's a mess trying to get up to, trying to get inside, trying to check in, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, here's my little update and I'm gonna catch up, I'm gonna keep watching my show. And yeah, that's the only thing that's like keeping me sane, bro. I don't care. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna catch up. It's a lot different than airports in America. Oh yeah, I'm gonna catch you to check out. Can't get in Paris, can't get in France. It's all bad, bro. I got away for like 20 hours. I don't even know what's gonna happen, but bro, I flew out all this way, bro, for nothing. I was so happy too, bro. Oh well, I'm gonna keep y'all posted. I'm gonna see what happens, cause I've been sitting here for like two hours now, bro. Insane, bro. Yeah, bro. I gotta go home. I gotta go back to LA today, man. They didn't let me.
What up, yo? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm trying to keep a positive mind, bro, but I'm just so over it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Kind of hurt with this situation, man. Very tough situation to be in, bro. Literally traveled the whole day. Did not sleep because I was so excited, you know what I'm saying? And then I found out getting here, now I needed a visa, and then boom, my whole world like just crumbled, bro. But um, yeah, I'm trying to keep a positive mind. I know that everything happened for a reason. Who knows, you know, God, God may have better plans for me. And you know, it's just not my time, you know what I'm saying? You all seen how excited I was, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that excitement kind of just like went away, man. But uh, yeah, man, enough of this, man. I'm just, gr I'm just grateful that I don't got to pay like five bands to go home tonight, bro. Like good thing, you know, the people at Delta found me like the same flight, the same day, like four hours. I only have 24 hours for my flight and I get back home in LA at 11 p at 9 p.m. It's currently like what? currently 302 right now, so I gotta wait like three hours until they start boarding. Yeah, then I'm gonna be on the way back home to LA, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm back to LA at like 11 9 p.m. I mean, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it could have been worse. I could be getting stuck here and you know, I had to pay like extra for the hotel whatsoever. I didn't get my money back at all. At all. Like the rent, like the rent, like the hotel that I got, I ain't getting my money back for that. Sucks, bro, but it's my fault at the end of the day. Uh, the whole reason why I didn't, I, I didn't get to cross is because I needed a visa. I didn't know I needed a visa because I came from the US. And they were just saying like, oh yeah, you need a visa, blah, blah, blah. So I can't argue with the police, bro. I literally was talking to the police. Like, yeah, man, I'm so hungry, bro. I'm probably gonna go get some food or something. And they have like a video game spot over there. I might hit that. I don't know, I just don't got no energy for real. I ain't got no energy to do anything at all. I'm just, I'm just over it, bro. I'm just trying to be home. I'm trying to see my girlfriend, just be with her. I just miss, I, I don't know. Just going through it, man. But yeah, man, I probably just end of vlog from here, I ain't gonna lie. I really just don't have, you know what I'm saying? I'm not in the mood to, to vlog anymore because, you know, I was looking forward for this. I posted this on the story that I'm gonna go to Paris, blah, blah, blah. Super excited whatsoever, but didn't work out, you know what I'm saying? So, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. So I'm probably just, hopefully I can get some sleep on the way back home because, bro, I, I've been up since like 9 in the morning and it's been like, what, 15, 20 hours since I, I've been up for 20 hours. Yeah, man. I need, I need to get some sleep, man. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all though. Appreciate y'all for watching. Yeah, let's see, let's see what God has planned for me next. It don't stop here, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep going. We probably gonna, we gonna keep going harder, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all. I'm on my way back home, bro. I'm gonna be back, though. Gotta get my, I gotta get my visa right, you know what I'm saying? I ain't done with Paris yet. All right, a little update. Finally on the plane, eight hours later, you know what I'm saying? On the way back home, Paris would've been a movie, but your boy gotta get his stuff together, so I'm gonna catch you at home, man. Finally got my bag. Finally just got to LA. Man, I'm just waiting for my girl for real, so. Man, we're back home with it, you know what I'm saying? Maybe next time, man. Catch y'all there.